Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to download the genuine Windows 10 directly from Microsoft for free. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by opening up a internet browser of your choice. I'm in Windows 8.1 start screen and I'm just going to go right over to the desktop and open up IE from there. And once I have it open, I'm going to go out to my favorite search engine, which happens to be Google, and I'm going to type in Windows 10 download. And once I do that, I'll get a list of links that are available. And the one that I'm going to click on is download Windows 10 dash Microsoft. And that takes me to the official page from Microsoft to download Windows 10 directly from them. If you're unfamiliar with your system requirements for Windows 10, you should check it out. Now down here, um, what we're going to be doing is installing Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. And it includes file formats optimized for download speed, um, built-in media creation options for USB and DVDs, and optional conversion to ISO file format as well. Now down here, um, there's two options. 32-bit and 64. I'm going to go ahead and download 64-bit because that's what I'm running presently is a 64-bit operating system. And in IE I get this prompt down here that tells me this might harm me but I know this site is okay so I'm going to go ahead and click on run instead of save it to my hard drive because it's such a short file anyway. And once that's done and starts to run I get this user account control prompt and I do want to say yes to that to allow the media creation tool to be installed on my computer here and once it is it opens itself up and I get this uh, Windows 10 setup window what do you want to do upgrade this PC now or create an installation media for another PC um, I'm not going to upgrade here because I'm just going to download the ISO to my computer so I'm going to click on the second option here and then I'm going to say next and then I am prompted with three questions and the first one is which language do I wish to have Windows 10 in and I'm going to uh, select English and the next one is which version do I want and if you're not sure which version to download you can go to your system I'm going to right click and click on system here and the system information is here in my case I'm running uh, Windows 8.1 uh, with Bing which is basically the home version and it's a 64-bit operating system and uh, so I'm coming back and I'm going to go ahead and and click on Windows 10 Home. Uh, you choose the one that you're supposed to download. And here I'm going to click on 64-bit because that's what I'm running. It's a 64-bit operating system. You can download the 32 or both of them if you like and click Next. Here you can choose to either uh, create a USB uh, bootable flash drive that you can boot your um, computer up with and install Windows 10 from a bootable USB uh, flash drive or you can um, select the second option here which is ISO file which allows you to create a um, or download the ISO file and also um, create it or I should say burn it to a DVD if you have a DVD uh, burner um, on your system. All right, um, I went ahead and saved it to my hard drive, as you saw, and I put it in my download directory, and uh, it's beginning to download. Now, this can take anywhere from, um, you know, a good 20 to 30 minutes to a couple of hours, depending on the speed of your system and your internet speed and how busy Microsoft is. Okay, once this is done, just follow the on-screen directions and um, burn it to a DVD if you like. All right, um, that's it for this uh, tutorial. I hope my tutorial helped you out. Subscribe and like my video.